Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today's video, we're gonna do a tier list post Dortmund YCS, pre Dortmund YCS, October 2023. And guess what? Full tier list with no bias, everything you wanna play of all the top decks. And I think I have something to say about this. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm actually first place on Dueling Book ranked right now by a landslide. Holy and I'm first God, place on Dueling Book that? ranked with Manadium. I have something to say about this format. I played about 100 matches this format. What are you new list. So let's get straight into this. Before we do, I want everyone to go check out the new play mat. That's right, new play mat. Synchro play mat, synchro special. I think it's only there for a few more days. So go get yours right now down in the description below. It's going to be part of a series where for every summoning mechanic, we're releasing a brand new play mat. Synchro XYZ fusion, everything like you guys see over here. So get the synchro one while you can in honor of Manadium. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. Smash the subscribe button if you're first time here. I'm going to explain now. And remember, this is coming from someone who's first on Dueling Book right now. So in this format, I don't think there's many more people that played 100 matches in this specific format with no Kushtira. It's a completely different format. So now I'm going to get straight into the video and explain what I think is first, second, third, fourth. Let's go. So first and foremost, the deck here we have is Branded. Now, Branded is an overall solid deck. I would put Branded somewhere between Tier 2 or Rogue. It's a solid deck. It's definitely not Tier 1. It can win games for sure, especially if the Gimmick Puppet lock you. But overall, the end board, it's just whatever. In fact, in my 90 matches, I played zero Branded. And if you're playing Branded, you're basically playing Chimera anyways. So I think it's fa fair to say Tier 2 for Branded because it is a solid deck. Next, Chimera. I do think Chimera is better than Branded. Like, I'm putting Branded low Tier 2, high Rogue. But it's still a good deck. It can win games. R loses to Ash. But, like, it, it, there's some hands that play around Ash, and Ash doesn't even matter at all. But there's some hands that it dies. Garden Ch Chimera deck, I do put it over uh, Branded. I do think it's better than Branded. Uh, but barely. They're both Tier 2. Chimera is a little better, in my opinion. If it doesn't get hand-trapped, it's solid. Uh, and I think... I can even put Branded Rogue. I think I'm going to put Branded Rogue. Like, it's still... Like, Rogue is still... Like, it could still win. It's playable. It's playable. I actually think Chimera is a very solid deck. If it goes uninterrupted, in this format, there's not many hand traps. It's a very solid deck. Next, we have Dark World. It is a rogue deck, but I think it's it's like you have to keep in mind of what sees less play. It's a really good deck. Like Dark World could be tier two, and in the right hand, like high end tier two in the right hands. There's some decks, some players I played against with Dark World that I have put up like six, seven negates. They OTK'd. But overall, a lot of the time it's whatever, and they hand loop for four. Uh, so it could be anywhere in there. I put tier two to rogue somewhere in between there. I'm gonna skip right ahead into the deck that I finished first with on Dueling Book on my Dueling Book Grand Climb, and that is Manadia. Manadium is the best deck. Not only because you could pendulum summon five times, you could pendulum summon 40 times in one turn. Shout out special summoning. Manadium is the best deck. I'll tell you why right now. A lot of you guys are thinking, oh, Triff, what about Unchained? Triff, what about Purely? Don't get me wrong. They're similar on the up on the Echelon. There's no, it's not tier zero. Like Manadium, not tier zero, but it's best deck. It's the best deck out of the tier one decks. The reason why is a lot of people think this deck's not good going second. Then how come I'm first? I'm doing book by landslide. How come I have multiple games in a row going second with no engine pieces against six interruptions and I OTK them? This deck with the proper defensive cards is absurd, especially that Droll is no longer in the format. Half my losses are to Droll. Droll is a pretty big part. No one main decks Droll anymore. And because no one main decks Droll, Manadium is extremely powerful. And going, don't play hand traps. Hand traps are fucking useless. You play board breakers. And in my deck, I play 14 go second board breakers. I play Kashtira, Manadium, Scareclaw. 14 go second cards. But at the same time, Kashtira, Fenrir searches Kashtira, uh, Scareclaw. So it gets the full combo as well. So by playing 14 defensive cards, you're really playing nine. And post side deck, Thrust could search Rhoda, could search Terraforming, Ter Talents could draw two. Going second with defensive cards and board breakers, Manadium cannot be beat. There's so many times, like live on stream, that I'm OTKing versus six interruptions, OTKing versus full unchained board absolutely no problem and this deck is so like it's insane how many people are, are underrating this deck uh simply because they played it before had no idea how to play around a bear how to play around nibiru had no idea how to play around imperm had no idea how to play around all these stuff this is the best deck and that's just plain and damn simple it's better than unchained it's better than purely and if you know how to play this deck properly and to play against interruptions you're not gonna just go oh summon room heart search me oh book of moon pass go ahead oh what the fuck of course not you play around all these cards you are aware that these cards are in the meta even though book of moon is not going to see much play anymore because no kashtira is anymore but you are aware that cards like this exist you go normal right card oh you want to book that chain room heart later bozo and you just pen five with that's my, all my decks pen five without scales it's the best deck in my opinion and at the very least if you don't think it's the best deck it just has to be tier one there's no world unless you're delusional that this is tier two or rogue. Jesse put it as rogue, which I think is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Jesse's my boy, but this is without question best deck or tier one. And 
I feel very confident that any matchup going second, I win the game without side decking. Every single matchup with zero hand traps. It's just that good going second. And if you look at the Unchained cards, Unchained is the only other deck that has that prowess going second as well as purely. I'm gonna go skip to Unchained and put Unchained at tier one and purely at tier one. The reason why is that these three, I believe are in a league of their own. I believe these three, typically tier one should state about three decks is fine at tier one there's no tier zero deck these are the three decks there's no other deck if you think there's any other deck on this level you're just mistaken there's there's not these are the three decks a tier limit it could be at low tier one high tier two but this i'm putting at tier one as the best deck just so you guys know what my honest opinion as for Unchained, the reason, like, Unchained's board, if you really think about it, it's actually not that crazy. Uh, most people in the world will say Unchained is the best deck right now. Bro, to what? They literally lose to, to two, any two spells in Yu-Gi-Oh, they lose. Going second. My Manadium deck has 19 of them going second. You, what, you, and out of those 19, nine of them could be offensive combo cards. But it's really like 10, so you never brick. You guys get that logic there. Where the defensive cards, like Talents, Thrust, Fenrir, also search combo going second. But you don't ever brick. So in hands, when you open five defensive cards, half of them could also search your combo. And that's why I have such an easy uh, uh, time dealing with uh, Unchained. Their board is whatever. Like, they go plus one at the end of their board. It's not absurd. It's also difficult to help all of them. It's not like Lightning Storm completely stops them. The cards that you utilize, like Synchron, for example, will hard get fucked against an Unchained, which is why I'm actually going to put Synchron at Rogue level, which uh, I played it for a long time. You're going to see like five different duels with Synchron. I have so much experience with Synchron, and that's what was the big part of my new playmat, Synchrons. It's, dude, it, it just hard loses to one interruption or two interruptions at the, at the right time, at the right time. And Unchained does such a damn good job clearing it. Purely, I think it's so easy to beat. You have to keep in mind that the format's not like, it's it's so, essentially solved. Everyone knows this is the tier list. Like some people could put Manadium 1 or some people could at 2 even though they're wrong. Everyone knows about Purely. Everyone knows about Unchained. It's easy to deal with these cards. How do you deal with, with Purely? Bro, you just play Underworld Goddess and your extra deck. It's game over. I, I can't stress this enough. And if at any moment, if they want to prematurely use the, the uh, X Purely Noir to deal with my cards, they already lost before it started. This is also why I play three droplets in my deck. I think droplets is absolutely absurd. Speaking of droplets, a deck that it's useless against, despite thinking it's amazing, it's the deck that draws Shifter, Robina, Map, uh, Talents, Thrust as his day job. Not tier one, but I'm putting Flu at tier two. This is a very solid deck. Now, instantly looking at this tier list. Okay, good. I thought we missed a tier limits here. I think Flu is a solid deck, especially in conjunction with Shifter and being able to play enough defensive cards. I think a very solid Flu build with a lot of very powerful go second board breakers especially ultimate slayer as well is very good i don't think it's a disrespectful for, for branded i do think it's in this level but i said as well it could be tier two it's debatable up here somewhere it's a combination of two tier two rogue it's definitely you can't put branded at tier two tier one i think guardian chimera is a better version of it you could put one of these here uh next dragon link hard opinion like without look shout out trish that's my man's everyone look very closely i cannot stress this enough i cannot stress this deck is fucking ass I cannot stress that enough. If you own Dragon Link, sell your deck immediately. Immediately. I will play against Dragon Link 10 times and beat them 11 times. I will take two Chaos Spaces that are banned and give it to them in their hand. Here, take one. I will give Dragon Link, LP, Pisty, and Agar Pain. Play with the 18 card extra deck. The deck sucks. It's always sucked. It's only good in formats that Bistials cook. That's it. These deals aren't bad right now, but they don't cook, cook like Tillman format. Tillman format, I'm putting putting this shit up here somewhere. In Tillman format, any deck that played Dragon Link Central, Abyssal Turbo is up there. Delete. That's it. Exo Sisters. I want to say tier two could be Rogue. I want to say somewhere in this general range. I will let chat decide this. It's rogue in the sense that not many people will play it. I think it's good. I think the deck is good. I think the deck is good. Keep in mind, rogue is like, it's not bad. Like, like it's not bad. Like, this is solid choice tier two. You Like, rogue is not bad. It's still fine. Like, rogue is, is not bad. I don't want you guys to think this is bad. You know, like, what it really means is like decent. Is this well big welcome? By the way, before I even continue, I just saw this card. Before I even continue, I, I can't even, I'm not even going to explain why this card needs to be here. Why Gate Guardian needs to be deleted instantly. I'm not even going to explain. I see Mechanko. I'm not even going to explain this one either. I'm not even going to explain these two. All right, I think we can freely move forward. Kishtira. I'm really not explaining this one either. I am not explaining Kishtira. I cannot stress, can I, can I delete this from, I would delete this picture, let alone delete the deck. Labyrinth. Out of all the decks I put, I, 
I'm number one on dueling book right now by a landslide. 90 matches is a lot, like in like two days. The four most played decks that I played, 100%. Tier Limit is the most played deck I played. 100% is the most played deck, Tier Limit. People like to cook with it and it's a fun deck. It's the most played deck I played on Dueling Book. Unchained, Flu, and Labyrinth. Those are the four most played and Vanquish Soul is the fifth most played. Those are the five most played decks that I played. It's good for you guys to know. I'm putting Lab at tier two. I think Labyrinth is legit. I think Lab is a really good deck. I think that Infernoble's Rogue with potential to be tier two. I think Brandon's also rogue with potential to be tier two. Keep in mind, I want, I, I could change these. I want you guys to actually also know that like tier one is best of the best. Tier two is like solid. Like you could enter a tournament. This is like not bad. This is like best, best, best of the best. Yo, Sideframe Delta with 10 gifties. Yo, everyone say thank you, Sideframe Zeta. Sideframe Zeta. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You are probably the worst Synchro 7 in the game, but I respect you a lot. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. And welcome to YouTube. Everyone thank him. The Elite instantly, like, like, and I mean, like, like, um, immediately, like, immediately, like, right now. This is what you should do with this. Next, Rescue Ace. Now, big shout out to uh, Max, who actually got second place with this deck. But guys, who in the blue hack, how the heck did he do that? He must be the best player in the game. This is rogue. <laughs> guys, guys, it could just be me. I don't think I've ever lost against Rescue Ace. I don't think I've lost a single match against this deck. If anyone has ever beat me with the deck, you could show me the receipts. I, I think I'm like 30 and no. Okay, I did not play 30 matches against this. I think I'm like 10 and no against this deck. I just cannot put it at tier two. I can't. Yo, you want to know an inherently better Rescue Ace? Magic Spectres. Magic Spectre Link 2 does what Rescue Ace set for does. The Diabell Star Engine will push this deck. I, I agree. It's fair to say this deck is rogue now. It, keep in mind, rogue is still, it could win. All the decks are rogue. I can't, like, it's not bad. Now, if you see Delete Instantly, yo, my friend Salamander Gazelle is getting pushed right the fuck to Delete Instantly. You're going to see a good amount of decks that Delete Instantly. Trap Tricks. Buddy, I'm not even going to explain. These decks have zero don't even think about you're not winning with these decks just delete them you're playing on hard mode you're playing on hard mode every deck at rogue has a shot you get what i'm saying they all have a shot which is why i think they're fine if anything you can even put synchrons down here because in the format yo in this format there's a lot of stuff like for example you can't the only way you stop guardian chimera is if they you hand trap them but if they have like a generic one or two or interruptions you're fucked unchain has so many one-off interruptions that you're fucked that's what revolution Synch there's so many one of like one droplets could end you one droplets is skipped i think i have to put this to delete instantly but because i want everyone to buy my synchron play mats thank you youtube uh we're gonna put this at rogue but we, we can fucking put this shit down here too which is why i could freely put rescue ace at rogue post We'll do a new list post the Gov. Because post the Gov, this is tier zero. So post the Gov, we'll do a new list for YCS India, Indianapolis. 11 11, make a wish. My wish has something to do with my dueling book name. Oh, I have a new comment. Surely it'll be good for, for, for YouTube. Your kids ever need a place to. St Rika. Rika is a solid deck. Just uh, won so much with it. It's a solid deck. It's a solid deck. I'm kidding. I'm gonna put this at tier two. But this is solid. It's, it's a solid. I think I think highly of Rika. I think this is a great deck. I was on this deck before the Rika cards came out, and I'm just reading the Rika cards, and I'm like, holy fuck! When Rika Kongon comes out, this deck is gonna be fucking tier one, like the whole time. I don't know what stopped me from playing it, but I do think this is a legit deck. It's a legit deck, and tier two, like this, could even be considered 1.5. No, I'm considering a tier two sprite. I'm gonna put a rogue. I, I, have, I could beat this deck so easily. I couldn't put a rogue, but it could be tier two. I think there's too many important cards that are out that are that are bad for it. Not bad. Like again, rogue is not bad. You could even consider tier one, tier 1.5, tier two. But none of these I'm considering tier 1.0. These are all tier two. And I'm probably putting Rika ahead of all of these. No, Rika, whatever. Rika loses to too many spell trap removals. Like just one Therion. Yeah, they could set up the spell trap negate rank nine, dude, but that's whatever. Tier limit, I'm putting tier two. Good tier two. I think tier limit is the fourth best deck. I think lab is the fifth best deck. Rika, I could put, I think rescue waste might belong in this tier. What do you guys, what does chat think right now? Are we missing another deck at tier one? Do we complete like the pyramid and add one more deck at tier one? I think, okay, I'm going to put rescue ace at high rogue. The way this will go is as you approach the highest level of each, it has a chance to go slightly up. And I can't stress enough, delete this deck, Dragonling so shit. I think Rescue Ace is rogue, not bad, almost tier two. And then when Diabell Star comes out, it comes to tier two. That's what I think. As you guys notice, we're missing one slot here. Cause I want to complete a cool pyramid. Vanquish Soul. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding, the deck's fucking dog shit. 
<laughs> okay, now here's the thing with, with Vanquish Soul. If Vanquish Soul draw, it's not it's not deleted instantly. I think it's it's here. I think it's here. I think it's tier two to rogue. Somewhere in here. Because the thing with the deck is not pure Vanquish Soul. Pure Vanquish Soul, I think, is ass. But if you play the deck with 10 best deck, if you play the deck with Super Heavy Samurai, you are always resolving the deck, the, the combo with Razin. Always you're getting, you could search Razin or you could go Omega or you could go Baron or you could do whatever. If you also play Fenrir, you have so many extra extra engines. This deck truly is draw Razin or lose the fucking game. I took this deck to a regional. I, I played three Ignite uh, spell card guy. That's uh, uh, Ignite Durandal. What I, whatever, Infernal Durandal. I did not draw Razin half the games. I played Prosperity. Didn't draw half the games. But by playing the super heavy samurais it gives you a dark it gives you gives you darks gives you earths and it gets you rosin so with that engine i'm putting this a tier two but i do want to put one of these decks up higher i don't think we could put like i'm looking at all these tier two decks none of them none of them boost up to tier one there's hands where tier limit passes there's there's hands where tier limit straight up passes there is there's legit hands that tier limit like all right i end on uh Selyek and uh Kalos. go ahead I would put Runic Fur higher at tier two. So now there's a few decks that are missing. I think that they're in the same level. I think Vanquisher and like, it's fair to say this. It's fair. They're both, th Vanquish was also the fifth most played deck that I played. I don't know. They're, they're just so mid though. Like I find it so easy to beat. Oh, I'm putting this shit at Rogue. Do you want to do this shit's at Rogue? This is, this is at Rogue. Vanquish might be Rogue as well. I think I'm happy with this. There's no other deck I could put at tier one. I could put pure scare. Now, guys, I just stole this tier list from some random on tier maker. I've, I just found, I typed in meta list 2023. I just found this. I would add pure scare claw and I'd put pure scare claw at tier two. In Kashira format, I would put that at tier one without question. Is there any, I would put Draco Slayers at rogue if I'm just being honest. In the chat, we have someone saying branded tier one. I disagree. I can understand putting it at tier two. Like, and keep in mind, like you could also very easily say this. I'm being a little bit harsh on my tiers because you don't want to give fake love to these decks. Branded is not tier one right now. It's lab is that it's not tier one, but lab's good. It's not bad. Lab can easily win a game. Doesn't matter who you play against. Lab can win a game. I'm putting Scareclaw at tier two, like legit tier two, not like middle or end or low end. Like, sorry, not low end tier two, like legit tier two. It's in this, this category of decks. Uh, Labyrinth is, is is fair to be here. Math Mech, I could put at Rogue, but it could also steal games. Keep in mind, Math Mech still has a thousand ways to, to circular. I could put that at Rogue or tier two as well. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind, anything in Delete instantly, emphasis on Dragon Link, don't even like, 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 like this sell immediately. Don't play this shit. How do I even remove this from my ranking thing? Out, get out of here. You're not welcome. Remove them all. Delete row. Like, oh, sexy. <laughs> because that's what I wanted to see. <laughs> and that's it. This is like, these are the decks that I would take to a tournament. I could freely say, for anyone that skips to the video, because typically that's what they do for tier lists, I could say that this is like what you could take to a tournament and I'd be very comfortable with. With these, don't even fucking bother. Why is Manadium that high up there? Why am I first on Dueling Book? Why am I ranked first on Dueling Book? I played Manadium. That's it. Thank you guys for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video.